Some people called it the greatest love story of the 20th century. The king who gave up his throne for the woman he loved. How do you find living in England, Mrs. Simpson? I'm always cold. Maybe you need someone to keep you warm. Isn't that what husbands are for? Are you trying to seduce me? Is it working? <laughs> I'm sure the rumors aren't true, Your Majesty. Which rumors? That he's rather serious about her. What do you mean, serious? She's a married woman. I have never known one person so utterly possessed by another as he was by her. I read that you kept a collection of letters. Would it be possible for me to look at them? I don't generally show them to anyone. I think it's important to tell the story from her point of view. <gasps> Happy birthday, we. Too sweet. Wallace and Edward, silly. So what is your thing with the Duke and the Duchess? Little girls love fairy tales. How do you know they live happily ever after? His Royal Highness is calling from Paris. You know you'll give in if you speak to him. He's my brother. The last thing you need is your brother dashing around England with that trollop. Tell him I'm busy. Your family will never stand for it. The Prime Minister won't stand for it. Then I'll give up the throne. And I will be the most despised woman in the world. He seems to have made his bed, hasn't he? I have found it impossible to discharge my duties as king without the help and support of the woman I love. The whole world turned against her, but she never backed down. You have no idea how hard it is to live out the greatest romance of the century. Gentlemen, it is my special pleasure to introduce a woman who clearly needs no introduction. A very great actress on her first trip to London. Marilyn, is it true you wear nothing in bed but perfume? Oh. Darling, as I'm in England, let's say I sleep in nothing but Yardley's lavender. <laughs> I long to see her. This story describes a miracle. Miss Monroe? Marilyn is not ready. Excuse my horrible face. A few days in my life when a dream came true. Are you frightened of me, Colin? No. Good, because I like you. Colin, is everything OK? Miss Monroe had some large packages she needed handled. <laughs> <laughs> what is Marilyn doing with my third assistant? Surprise! Get working, Colin! I have something in my eye. I can't see anything. Be careful not to get in too deep, son. Marilyn Monroe fancying you. Come on. She breaks hearts. She will break yours. Why wouldn't I, the little girl lost, act if I were you? I think Ballard knows exactly what she's doing. All people ever see is Marilyn Monroe. What must it be like to be the most famous woman on Earth? You could quit this. Forget Marilyn Monroe. Forget Hollywood. But let it all go. First love is such sweet despair, Colin. Shall I be her? Who? Marilyn. Thank you. 
every day. Why couldn't you be born a Serb? Am I a prisoner? You're not a prisoner if you want to be here. Are we so terrible we should be exterminated? Out with your hands in the air! What the evil kill this women? It's very complicated. One of your Muslim friends was in my scope. And I thought about you. And then I wondered, would she kill me if she had the chance? She will betray you. She's not to be trusted. Should I trust you? Did I make a mistake? No. I think I did. People are not often what they seem to be. Then I have nothing to fear. We all know William Shakespeare, the most famous author of all time. But what if I told you Shakespeare never wrote a single word? Ten thousand cells, all listening to the writings of one man, the ideas of one man. That's power, Robert! Since when did words ever win a kingdom? Leave that to me. Plays are the work of the devil, born from a cesspool of plague and heresy. In my world, one does not write plays. William Shakespeare. People like you do. Words will prevail with a listener. He has done this for a purpose. Fraud! Charlatan! He came to me, Ben. He came to me. None of your poems or your plays will ever carry your name. Promise me you'll keep our secret safe.